Hi everybody. I have different weather conditions, so I'm super excited today. Come to the woodland and we have fog. I think for the first time in a long time, I've actually managed to get some fog -y conditions for the, for the photos, which is great. It's really nice because you kind of got this kind of magical forest conditions with the fog causing separation, etc makes a huge difference when it comes to woodland photography. So yeah, I'm gonna have a walk around, see what I can find. There is a lake here as well. So if the sun comes out or breaks through, I'm gonna head down to the lake because I may get some great shots there with the, with the light, etc. But for the moment, I'm just gonna stick to the woodland and uh, take some photos here. So yeah, as always, let's see what we can find. It's a hard thing. So we stay hollow. So I quite like this composition, although I'm going to mess around with it a little bit. It's not going to be exactly probably what you see on the screen now. I don't really like the tree being centre of shot, etc. But there's quite a few trees in here. One of the big uh, advantages of fog is you create the different levels between the background and the foreground, so you get a separation uh, between everything. And it gives this kind of mystical fairy tale uh, kind of look to the shot as well. Yeah, I thought the sun was going to be coming out, uh, but not yet. So I'm going to mainly stick to the woodland, I think. And then if the sun does seem to be showing, then it's not far to get down to the lake and take some photos there. But yeah, I'm going to play around with a few compositions on this and then see what I can come up with. the things I want to say And maybe he'll listen someday Just a tip, when you're walking through looking for shots, it's so easy just to look in the direction that you're walking into. But my tip is don't forget to always look behind you. So when I was just filming a little bit in this direction, I actually thought, wow, that might actually make quite a good uh, shot. So yeah, with the pathway, as I said, sometimes the shots are actually behind you and not in front of you. So just to make sure you look in both directions. Wow, it's just so peaceful. Sound of the birds, a little bit of the sound of the water. There's only me here, it seems. Perfect foggy conditions. What an amazing <laughs> morning already. It's just absolutely great. Yeah, so once again, another shot where I look behind me and got this again with the fog. Done something a little bit different though. Set the timer on my camera, about 20 seconds. And then I ran <laughs> to the background there just to get a picture of me kind of coming out of the fog, just to give that extra kind of depth and dimension about exactly how foggy the conditions are. So yeah, hopefully it's going to, uh, be a good shot, but we'll uh, we'll find out. As always, I'll put a uh, a photo, an edited photo, at the end of this video clip. So I'm going to try something again, a little bit different. Um, huge amounts of fog, as you can see. There's a tree over the field, some green fields here, and then you've got the line of pine trees uh, to the left as well. So not sure if it's going to work or not. It probably will be something that I need to kind of play around with uh, in Lightroom. But yeah, let's give it a go. Uh, if it works out, obviously I'll show you.
Just another point to mention actually, normally I shoot uh, my uh, landscape photography using manual mode. I think probably because I started doing other forms of photography as well, so I kind of moved into manual. But today I've actually switched back to aperture mode. And actually, I think for landscape photography, it's absolutely fine. Um, you can always uh, plus or minus the exposure and bracket if you need to, but actually I think uh, aperture mode for, for landscapes, I think I'm gonna stick to that for a while. Definitely uh, way, way easier, because otherwise in, in manual, just kind of always constantly moving up and down with the exposure. Yeah, and most of the time you don't need to do that. So yeah, aperture mode is, is today's mode of choice. I love this shot. I love the fence leading you round into the park. The conditions are amazing today. I am so glad that I came out this morning. Better than laying in bed, that's for sure. So the fog is starting to lift now, so I'm not sure how long I'll stay around, maybe a little bit longer because it may drift back in. Uh, again, it did just now uh, more in the woodland part of this. Uh, yeah, but what great conditions this morning. It just goes to show that, you know, the weather conditions can make a huge difference. Yeah, okay, the sun didn't come out, but hey, it wasn't such a bad thing. This is a great example about how fog gives you that separation. So you've got these uh, pine trees here in shot, and I love the fact they're in the row. And then the pine trees behind obviously are obscured by the fog. So yeah, again, play around with a few different compositions here. There's a small pine tree there, which I may see if I can work on to see if I can get that on its own. But yeah, this is a perfect example of how fog works. It's a hard thing to know That your soul will stay hollow So you may recognize this uh, from an earlier video clip. You can see the fog has, has really started uh, disappearing now. Just a few uh, parts of fog drifting across the treetops. Um, but yeah, I think I might just try going down to the lake, see if there's anything over there. Um, again, depending on whether the fog's still there or not. If not, then it's time to go home, but I'm super happy with today. I said great weather conditions, I think I've got some nice video for you and hopefully some nice photos as well.